Welcome to the February 25th episode of This Week at CA, your source for weekly updates on what's happening at Columbia Association. Let's see what CA is up to this week. The CA board has approved the Inner Arbor concept plan for Symphony Woods with an 8-2 vote. The plan will include cool features such as a dinner theater, children's theater, ballroom venue, treehouse amphitheater, and more. For more information about the Symphony Woods plan, or to get the latest updates, visit ColumbiaAssociation.org slash Symphony Woods. If you're a graduating high school senior who plans on going to college, pay attention to the following message. CA is still accepting applications for its Spirit of Columbia Scholarship, which awards up to six students $2,500 each. Visit ColumbiaAssociation.org slash scholarship for more information. Get ready, get set, get fit. CA's Be More Tri Coaching is sponsoring an indoor triathlon challenge for people ages 11 and older and meet a 4'11 height requirement. Don't worry, this is a non-competitive triathlon. If you're interested, make sure you register by March 3rd. To register, visit ColumbiaAssociation.org slash login. The Columbia Association is moving forward with plans to put a continuous loop pathway around Lake Kimikundi. With me today is Diana Kelly. Diana is the contract administrator for the Columbia Association, and Diana has been working on the feasibility study for the Lake Kimikundi Path. Diana, it's so good to see you out here today. Nice to see you again, Dennis. Diana, I understand the feasibility study is now complete, and you're, you had a meeting with the Town Center Village Board? Dennis, Columbia Association hired Bayland consultants and designers to perform a feasibility study to look at options of completing the path around Lake Kitimacundi. They presented those three options to the Town Center Village Board in January, where it was well received. We will be going back again in March to do a follow-up presentation to a wider audience now that the community has had time to digest the options that uh, were presented. Diana, I understand that there are three alternatives that were presented by the uh, consultant and that one of those is the best fit for Columbia. Can you tell me about that alternative? Dennis Bayland did present three feasibility or feasible options to oh. circle the lake. And the one they recommended cover uh, the, the entire lake, circumvents the entire lake. The path is about two miles long in total. And um, it, it covers grounds that include wetlands and some of the gullies and weeds through the trees. It's a very environmentally sensitive plan. There's very little disruption to the original grades of the land. It follows the topography and uh, it is the most cost-effective plan to install and to maintain in the long run. So it's about two miles long, it takes you through nature, it avoids the wetlands and the, and, and the environmentally sensitive areas, mm -hmm. and weaves through the big trees. That's right. So, so when does it start? Well, starting is another thing. First of all, we're going to present it to the Town Center um, Village Board again in March, uh -huh. and we're going to hear what they have to say about this option. Uh, then there will be, the receiving of the funding, there's going to be design effort, permitting effort, and then eventually construction effort. So it sounds like definitely not this summer, maybe start construction summer of 2014. Possibly 2014. That sounds terrific. Diana, I understand that the presentation that was made to the Town Center Village Board in January is available online. Where can our viewers go to find out more information? The presentation is on CA's website. It's called the uh, Lake and McCundy Trail Feasibility Study. You can also link through it through the Town Center Village Board website. They have a link there as well. And Diana, one last question. I understand that there's so much activity. There's Whole Foods going in. Clyde's is in the background constructing right now. The Columbia Association, that's a downtown fitness club. Is this the time to be downtown in Columbia? This is absolutely the time to be in, in Columbia downtown. There's so many new features, uh, pedestrian features, events that will be down going on down here because of the improvements. This will be a con comprehensive plan that the path is only one piece of, but it's an important piece of that plan. Sounds great. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. CA has some exciting events coming up soon that you don't want to miss. Relax. Spring is near. Kids Space will host its spa day on Monday, March 11th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Columbia Gym. While you're relaxing, your kids can enjoy two hours of Kids Space activities such as games, arts, and crafts. Registration is required for this event. To register, visit Kids Space at Columbia Gym. 
For more information, call 410-531-8984. Stop by the Art Center starting March 7th for its Baltimore Watercolor Society exhibit. There will be more than 45 works created by members of the BWS that will be displayed in the Art Center's main and window galleries. The reception for the exhibit will be held on Saturday, March 9th from 3 to 5 p.m. Get fit for free at CA's free week of fee-based classes during the week of March 3rd. The classes are available for members and non-members. Get active in classes like basic African dance, hip-hop line dancing, Paloxing, Willpower and Grace, Zumba Circuit, and more. Registration for free classes is required. What inspires you to live in Columbia? Our cameras will be at Supreme Sports Club between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Friday, March 1st. Come be a part of a new campaign that CA is launching. To reserve a time to be filmed or for more information, email mary.weeks at columbiaassociation.org. That's it for this week's edition of This Week at CA. See you next week, Columbia.